with the fantastic Daniel Radcliffe. I'm having such a bucket list moment in life with you. You know, my daughter came up with just a scroll of excuses to tell her school today to get oh, here. And did she, did they work? I was like, we, no. your school called me and said, you're not allowed to miss any more days and we're in our November and you started in September, so we're in trouble. Okay, fair enough. Um, well, I'm sorry, what's your daughter's name? Her, one is Olive and one is Frankie. Hello, Olive and Frankie. Oh my God, oh! Okay. Yeah. <laughs> You have no idea the props. Okay, great. That's I, hilarious, but that, great. Thank you for making me the cool parrot just now. <laughs> it means so much to me. Here's your water. Cheers. You. Cheers. Um, Cheers. Okay, so we started as kids. Right, yes. You know, and I like, I, I, I was reading about you and, and what I was picking up was like an, a credo and an ethics and sort of a moral compass for you. Um, it, it started to come out in the form of like, if people thought you were Elijah Wood, you would say, oh, okay, yes, because you didn't want to correct them? Well, there was, that happened a couple of times. Well, there's, yeah, so, you just don't want to ruin someone's day. Exactly. <laughs> so I was like, oh my God, so people will call me Demi Moore. That one's weird to me though. You don't look alike. I think, we and Elijah Wood look alike. I think it's the names, they're similar. I mean, they have more in them. Yeah, exactly. Like, but they, that's, I, I don't know. I'll get, you know, I loved you in Poltergeist or an, another movie I wasn't right. in. Cool. And I'll just go, thank you. Yeah. Because I don't want to be rude. Yeah, and there's like, well, I've had, the, one, the first time it happened, I was on a red carpet in Japan, and the guy who was offering me the photo of Elijah Wood was... <laughs> Japanese and did not speak English, so and I didn't speak Japanese. So what'd you sign? I, yeah, I saw. I was like, I think I, I think I either signed Elijah Wood or I maybe wrote like, I'm not Elijah Wood, Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> um, but then a like, guy was driving past on the street. My favorite way to get recognized is by somebody shouting enthusiastically from a car as they continue on their day. Um, is and, it dropped a mic? Yeah, it's a nice. It's like, oh, it's just a nice moment, but it doesn't. Nothing gets bigger, and it's fine. Um, but uh, this guy just like shouted out like. Hey Frodo, I love the Lord of the Rings movies, or something like that. And at that moment, you go like, he's gonna have a really nice day if he thinks he met Frodo. So I was just like, thanks, man. Have a good See, one. See, that's you know. how I know yeah, like, that oh, we so are. Oh, you hanging now. No. Oh, so. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's how I know that we are compatible because, ironically, in Tokyo, when I was seven years old, I went there for ET. Oh, well, what was that like? Well, I was in a bathroom stall and a piece of paper and a pen came under and they said, could you sign this? And I thought, life's different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And... Did you sign it out of interest? Of course. Right, yeah. Always. And uh, I yeah. take photos in the bathroom all the time, still sure, to this yeah. day. Okay, so our, our childhoods, I think, were very affected by Weird Al. And I believe Erin, your beautiful girlfriend, um, is, like, how you got into him, too? Because I'm uh, such yeah. a lifelong fan. Yeah, I mean, no, she, I, I, so I grew up knowing uh, some of Al's work in England, but not being fully indoctrinated in the way that you just are if you grew up in America between a certain time period. You just know him. Right. It's um, so true. It was... It everyone. Was, like, and no one had ever done what he did. Right. And it's, it is amazing how, like, in England, like, a lot of people who are really into, like, music or comedy really love Al, but here it's just everyone. Like, everyone's childhood was touched by, by Weird Al at some point. You're right. Um, everyone's childhood was touched by Weird Al. Yeah. That's very well said. Um, and, you know, my girlfriend, her, her dad's, like, favourite movies are Airplane and Naked Gun, and so Weird Al was, like... Olive right, and film. Frankie and I just watched Airplane I mean, last an weekend. it's film. I, want re I really want all films to just be like that. It's um, a masterpiece. Yeah, it really is. The jokes are, you know... And uh, th when I started dating Erin, her and her whole family really, like, Weird Al became the soundtrack to like Christmas and even though he's only really got two Christmas songs but we listened to all of it um, and I kind of become obsessed with a few of the songs and uh, yeah to then get the offer to play him was very surreal but awesome. I mean I think that the message this is not a movie that you have to go to for a message but there is inside the absolute deranged insanity that this film is, um, there is a very sweet core of it, which is, you know, I, I say in a, a speech near the end of the movie, like, be as weird as you want to be. You know, you're only going to find true happiness when you can accept who you truly are. I think that is something that Al really represents for people as well. He is both smart and bizarre, but also incredibly funny and incredibly kind. And, yeah, it all just, like, he, he threads the, the needle between, like, 
yeah, psychotically insane and earnestly incredibly sweet um, in a way that I think few people do. And I think that's why, that's why people love him, I think. And I cannot wait for this film. Thank I'm you so, much. so happy you're telling his story, oh. that it's you telling it. We're all going to be there. I cannot wait. I'm, I'm very, very honored. I'm very, very honored too. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Daniel Radcliffe. Catch him playing Weird Al in Weird, the Alienate. Da, 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 da. Here, you take it. Catch me playing Weird Al in Weird, the Al Yankovic story, available starting today exclusively on the Roku channel. We'll be right back with the headlines. Stick around for Drew's News. <laughs>